This will be a quick demonstration of using iMacros to bulk upload a number of marked assignments and load the marks into the gradebook. Most people will be using a version of Moodle that allows you to download all the assignments in a single zip file so you can mark them all offline. However, you still need to manually upload each assignment and enter the mark into the gradebook. I've been experimenting with iMacros uh, software, uh, which is available on most browsers on most computers. We'll just go through that process now. Here you'll see a folder of assignments. These are the unmarked assignments. And when I mark the assignment, I, by convention, just put the mark in the file name at the end. So this one gets 20, this one gets 35. That way I can see which mark ones have been marked and which ones haven't been marked. The macro uses a comma separated variable value variables file. Uh, it's called I names marks and files. And we'll just open that up in Excel. Here you'll see the file, it's got a number of columns in it, three columns in it. The first one is the name, the name of the student, Peter Evans, Demo 1 student, Demo 2 student, the grade and the feedback file. The feedback file is just the name of the file. The grade can either be a numeric grade or if you're marking an assignment using a non-numeric scale, for example, pass credit distinction, it could be distinction or pass. I've just uh, used 25 out of 40 here because um, uh, to show you how you can put in the value of the, the field in the uh, drop-down menu. And the first column, as you can see, is just the name. You'll see for this particular student, Demo 1 student, you'll see that they've got two lines. That's because there's two feedback files going back to them. One specific marked assignment and the second um, is just a, a more general feedback. You'll see that I haven't put a, a mark or a grade in the, for the second one, but I could put 35 there and it would just uh, uh, overwrite it. Okay, uh, the second thing I want to show you is iMacros. This little icon here will show you iMacros, the window on the side. Here's the actual macro that we're using. So we'll just look at that quickly. Uh, you'll see when we go through some of the lines have got a single quote in front of them. That's just a comment. Uh, so that describes what the line will do. Uh, so these are all iMacros command. Go to a particular course. Uh, set a variable to a particular value. In this case, we're setting it to the path of the assignments. And then uh, go and read values from a particular file. This is the file I was talking about earlier. Go through, uh, tick, click on certain things. For example, search for the piece of text with the value equal to the first column, which is the student name. So this is where we find the student name. I'll just close that. We will now run the macro to see how it operates. Click on the name of the macro and then we'll click on play loop. The reason we're clicking play loop rather than play is that this macro includes a loop and it will go back a number of times to as it's reading through that uh, CSV file. You'll see that we've gone to the page in Moodle that's got the assignment grid. And you'll see that none of these assignments have uh, a grade in them. 
we're in a single step mode, so iMacros will wait, will execute the step and then wait for me to press continue. It's now looking for the text on the page uh, with the student number, that's column one, remember, and it's found Peter Evans. The next step is it's going to click a link or the second link after this step, which will be the, uh, the link that allows me to enter the grade or, or upgrade. So we've gone into the assignment page for Peter Evans. Continue. It's now inserted the name of the feedback file. Continue. It's now clicking the upload file link. So you'll see the feedback has been inserted. The next step is it's going to look and put the um, uh, the grade, the mark in the drop down menu, which it's done. Continue. It now puts up that prompt, letting me check that the right information has been inserted. It has, so I can just click OK and then continue. And then it will just go back uh, and look for the, the next student. What I will do now is I'll modify the assignment, uh, modify the uh, macro, so it won't do that single step. So I will get rid of the single step option, comment that out and save it and save it and we will rerun this macro so again because it's uh, uh, just running through this assignment again you'll see that the uh, the feedback file has been uploaded twice. Continue. We will then look for the next student, which is Demo 1. We've uploaded the feedback file for that student, and we've put the correct grade in, which is 35. OK, continue. This student has got two bits of feedback, two feedback files. So demo one, and we've got the general feedback and the specific feedback. Continue. Obviously, once you've run this a few times, you don't need to check, or you may still want to check. Um, once you do that, it will operate, run through the macro quite quickly. And there we've finished it. You can see an example of this if you go to the emarkingassistant.com slash community site and then click on the link that says bulk upload marked assignments.